Welcome back guys to my channel. For this video, I will discuss module 4 of Senior High School Business Mathematics, Different Kinds of Proportion. Kung bago ka lang sa aking channel at hindi ka pa nakakapag-subscribe, isubscribe mo na ang aking channel at hit mo rin ang notification bell para updated ka sa mga susunod pang mga videos. Let's start. Ratio is a comparison between two numbers of measurement. It can be written in two ways. Number one, using colon. A colon B reads as A is to B. Number two, fraction A over B, where B is not equal to zero, reads as A is to B also. Example is, three colon means three over four, read as three is to four. Next, proportion is an equation states that two ratios are equal. It can be written also in two ways, using colon. A colon B equals C is to D, reads as A is to B as C is to D. Number 2, written as two equal fractions. A over B equals C over D, where B is not equal to 0 and D is also not equal to 0. Reads also as A is to B as C is to D. In a proportion, 16 is to 20 as 4 is to 5. 16 and 5 are called extremes or the first and fourth or the outer terms of a proportion. While 20 and 4 are called means or the second and third or the inner terms of a proportion. And the common property for a proportion is for all real numbers A, B, C, and D, the product of the extremes equals the product of the means. It means in the above proportion, we have 16 times 5 equals 20 times 4, 80 equals 80. Or if the proportion is written in fraction form, 16 over 20 equals 4 is to 5, we can do the uh, extremes and means by cross product. So we have 16 times 5 equals 20 times 4, both of them are 80. Let us now proceed to the different kinds of proportion. Number 1 is direct proportion. Two values x and y are said to be directly proportional to each other when x and y will either increase or decrease together. Such that when one increases, the other increases, or when one decreases, the other decreases. Example of direct proportion is, if four bags of cement cost 1,040 pesos, then how much 20 bags of cement cost? We know that number one problem is a direct proportion. So, four bags is equivalent to 1,040 as to 20x is how much? So, instead of question mark, it represents the unknown by x. And the general property for direct proportion is the product of the extremes equals... For x equals the product of the means. So, 1,040 times 20. So, if we will multiply 1,040 times 20, we are making the number higher. In math, we are making the number smaller. So, instead of multiplying, we will divide both sides by 4 so that 4 is cancel. Cancel 20 and for we have 5. So what shall we do only is multiply 1040 times 5. 0, 20, 5, 1,200. So x is 5,200. So we can say now that 5,200 pesos is the cost. Of 20 bags of cement. That is indirect proportion. Example number two. In a certain national high school, there are four teachers for every 180 students. If there are 2,790 students, how many teachers are needed? Number two problem is also a direct pr proportion between the teacher and student states that for every four teachers, it is equivalent to 180 students. How about if you have 2,790 students, how many teachers are needed? 
Uh, so by cross product, we have 4 times 2,790 equals 180x. Again, we will not multiply 4 and 2,790 because you will make the number higher. So what we will do is we will divide both sides by 180 so that 180 will be cancelled. Then we cancel 0, meaning we divide both sides by 10. Then we cancel also 18 and 4. Our common divisor is 2. 4 divided by 2 is 2. 18 divided by 2 is 9. So we have 2, 279, all over 9. So what we will do is multiply. 279 times 2 is 18, carry 1, 15, carry 1, 558 over 9. Then divide 558 by 9. Uh, 6. 6 times 54. Wait, 558, sorry. So we have 2. 18. So therefore, x. equals 62. Therefore, 62 teachers are needed for 2,790 students. Next kind of proportion is the inverse proportion. It states that Two values x and y are inversely proportional to each other such that if x increases, y decreases, or if x decreases, y increases. Examples of inverse proportion number one, in a t-shirt design factory, eight employees can finish designing 30 t-shirts in one hour. How long will it take for 20 employees to design 30 t-shirts? The first problem in inverse proportion is like this. The relation is between the employee and the time to finish the 30 or, or the 30 designs. Okay, so that is uh, 8 employees can design how many in 1 hour. Kapag direct proportion, nandito ang 60 minutes na 1 hour. And just because that is inverse proportion, yung 60 susulat sa baba. Hmm? So that 20, 20 employees, o dun din sa taas, nawawala. That is inverse proportion. Kapag direct, yung 8 saka 60 ay magkatapat, yung 20 at saka x magkatapat. And just because ito ay inverse, yung x sa taas, 60 sa baba. Okay, so that is now cross product. 8 times 60 equals 20x. Again, do not multiply 8 and 60 kasi lalaki. So, what we will do is divide by 20 to cancel 20. Cancel also 60 and 20. So, we have 3. So, remain is 8 times 3 which is 24. So, what does it mean? It means that 24 minutes for 20 workers to design 30 t-shirts. Yan ang inverse. Kasi nga, dumami yung worker, kaya yung 60 minutes naging 24 minutes na lang. Example number 2, it takes 24 days for 5 construction workers to build the house. How many workers are needed to shorten the job in 15 days? Again, ito nga ay inverse proportion kasi yung 24 days na work gagawin mong 15 days. So, para mangyari yon yung 5 construction workers ay dadagdagan mo. In problem number 2, it is the inverse relation between the number of days and the number of 
workers. Okay. Uh, in number of days, it takes how many? 24 days. In 5 workers. Kapag direct, nandito ulit ang 5. And just because this, this is inverse, 5 will be written below. Okay. So, if you want to make it 15 days, how many workers are needed? Okay. So, cross product. 24 times 5 equals 15x. Again, divide both sides by 15 to cancel 15 to the right or to x. 15 and 5 cancel by 5. Meron tayong 3. Yung 24 and 3 cancel then. Gamit ang 3. 3 divided by 3 is 1. 24 divided by 3 is 8. So we have x is equal to 8. Meaning, 8 workers are needed. To shorten the job in 15 days. That is, yung 24, pinadami natin ang worker, naging 15 days na lang. Inverse relation or inverse proportion. The third kind of proportion is the partitive proportion. This proportion involves identifying parts of a whole based on a given ratio of these parts. Example 1 of partitive proportion is John the father wants to divide his 4,500 to his 3 children in the ratio of 1 is to 2 is to 3. How much money will each of the three children receive? If you say partitive, hahati-hatiin yung 4,500 na ang ratio is 1 is to 2 is to 3 sa tatlong anak ni John. In number one problem, in partitive proportion, that three children will be divided into 1 is to 3 ratio of the father's money amounted to 4,500. So what shall we do is, we will represent the unknown by x. This is what the, the amount. Okay, so, or the common factor. So what we will do is, we will simply add in partitive. Equals 4,000. O yan lang, ang pinaka shortcut kapag partitive. Kapag may ratio ng isa or dalawa, simply add and assign the unknown by a variable, any variable. So, 1 plus 2 plus 3 is 6x equals 4,500. Divide both sides by 6. So, x is equal to 4,500 divided by 6 is uh, 7. 7, 42, 3, 5, 30. Bring down the last 0, 0, 0. Okay, so x is equal to 750. Then, 1x, then 2 times x equals 2 times 750. That's the common factor, just multiply. 1,500. 3x equals 3 times 750 equals 2,250. Therefore, Children will receive 750 pesos, 1,500 pesos, and 2,250 pesos respectively. That is partitive proportion. Uh, mostly gamit na gamit siya kung mag-ahati-hati magsusubdivide of a value kaya nga partitive problem number 2 for partitive proportion the ratio of the 3 sides of a triangle is 2 is to 3 is to 7 what are the measurements of each 3 sides of a triangle if its perimeter is 720 centimeters in problem number 2 partitive so we will divide the triangle whose ratio is 
2 is to 3 is to 7. The perimeter of the triangle is equal to 720. So to solve, very simple, 2 is to 3 is to 7. The perimeter is 720, the same. 2 plus 3 plus 7 x equals 720. 2 plus 3 is 5 plus 7 is 12. x equals 720. Divide both sides by 12. x is equal to 720 divided by 12 is 6. 12 carry 1, 72, 0. Okay, so x is equal to 60. So what are the uh, what are the sides of the triangle? So we have 2 times 60 equals 120. 3 times 60 equals 180. 7 times 60 equals 420. So what does it mean? We can say that the three sides of the triangle are 60 centimeters uh, sorry 120 centimeters 180 centimeters and 420 centimeters Muli po, kung nakatulong at nagustuhan ang video na to, please like. At kung gusto nating makatulong din sa iba, please share.